vortex last week, heavy snow this week. Let's do a tour of the house. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm fenting. Yeah, you're fenting. No. I know. But, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm just watching a show with a lot of my sister. Yeah, come, come show us your show. You get to see um, so what a mess my living room is. Ella, I'm vlogging. Just so you know. We're watching a show? Yeah, because it's like my because they are running. And that's yeah. Maggie, our dog. That's, that's, it is Maggie, also. So this is the filth that is our living room. The toys that are on the floor. Yeah, but We've got some chores that need to be done. And see, our kitchen is right here. So you're kind of getting a little bit of a house tour. Um, the pantry door is open, which isn't unusual. And um, if you come around here, this is our dining room. Um, I don't know why Dad was filming. Dad was filming. That's why there's a light. The bench that goes to the table is on its side, and there's a light hanging. Oh, you want to say something? Yeah, okay. because um, in the pantry, there's like little snacks. Yeah, there is, huh? Because we like to have snacks, don't we? Yeah, but they are tasty and yummy. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. There's our piano, the front door, and so it kind of goes all in a circle here. Um, you like to wanna walk up? Walk. You want Moana to walk up the stairs? It's not very often that we get to play together, is it? <gasps> What's gonna happen? Fire hose too. Thank you, fireman. What does she sing in Moana? What does she sing? I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember either. Instead of we just know, shiny. No, no, no. Not oh. that. What does she sing? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show the video. This penguin is going to eat the fire truck. Oh, Penguin's going to eat the fire truck. Oh, goodness. Eat, eat. Oh, you're eating Moana! Oh, no! Run away! It's the next day. Um, we kind of had a crazy night, so we didn't really vlog, but it's the next day. I also went outside to check the mail. I didn't know that they had shut down the mail service because the roads are so icy here and um it's so cold but i went outside and i ended up slipping on some black ice um in our driveway and i just flew my feet flew out from under me and i just flat on my back flew my phone flew um and so my hip is a little sore my shoulders are a little sore my neck is a little sore uh, my phone is just fine though and so i just laid there and it was it was snowing and the snow is just slapping me in the face and I'm like <laughs> and I see Joel um very quickly coming and he um had some ice with him a bucket of not of ice of salt and um guided me back into the house with this trail of salt and so that worked out but it was it was so crazy <laughs> And I, wait, I have to stop. I feel like I'm going to pass out. If I get up too quickly, I feel like I'm going to pass out. I'll go into another vlog where I talk about my health issues and my doctor and what they've said and the kind of supplements that they put me on. Um, but right now I'm just like. <laughs> but we have a very interesting little boy this morning, Fenton, who played a little bit with some makeups. You want to look like Miranda. Yeah. So. I But I have a golden nose on my nose. Yeah, you do. You did a golden highlight on your nose, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have that. And so 
That's our morning so far. All of the kids, they didn't close school today. We thought they would. They closed school yesterday. Um, and we thought that they would close school today, but they didn't. They didn't do that. So um, they're all at school. And we'll film that craziness when they get home. Cool. See you guys later. All right, so Chantel wanted me to fill you in on uh, what happened today when the school buses came. Um, Chantel said that she saw the bus go by the window. So I went out to the driveway to, uh, to open up the garage because there was a lot of snow going on out there. Open up the garage, no bus. So I come back inside and I said, hey, I thought you saw the bus. And she said, yeah, it went by the window. I go back out to the garage, open it up, no bus. So I put on my coat, stepped out of the garage and looked out and there was uh, our son trying to scramble up the icy bank in the front yard to try to get to the house. And I told him to go around to the driveway. Uh, it was just too icy there. But there was no bus out there. I didn't know where he even got dropped off at. So anyway, I went back in. I got my boots on so I could go out and and, uh, and help him get out there. And uh, the bus, it turns out, is down at the bottom of the hill. Uh, slid half off the road into the prairie uh, down by, by our house. I didn't actually get a video of the bus sliding back down the hill. So I recreated the accident here using a scale model. This is almost exactly what it looked like. Exactly. Uh, so uh, I went back in, got my overalls on, and got out the snow plow, um, and headed down there with the tractor to see if I could get it out. Uh, by the time I got down the hill, it turns out the, the bus came about halfway up the hill uh, to our house and uh, uh, hit an ice patch and slid right back down to the bottom again. So uh, not a good day for the bus. And it was stuck down there. It was trying to get turned around and uh, trying to keep from sliding off into the prairie. Uh, so I got the tractor out, got down there, uh, skidded down the hill on the tractor um, to, to see if I could plow out some of the snow around the bus and, and at least get it loose. And uh, by the time I got there, they'd, they'd worked themselves out and turned around and they were headed off to, to get out of there. So I turned around, came back up the hill, and it took me about six tries to get back up the hill with the tractor. I was sliding sideways, I was sliding backwards, um, I was revving at full speed, and it would all of a sudden start going the opposite direction. Um, a lot of ice underneath the snow, and probably about six or seven inches of snow out there on top of that. So, so I start plowing the driveway, I get you know, just a rough pass through, get everything blown off, and I head back down to the end of the road there uh, to uh, throw some salt out jump off the tractor, rip open a bag of salt, and then all of a sudden I was looking up at the sky. I flip right onto my back. Uh, and bag of salt still in my arms. So, uh, uh, yeah, that was the sound it made. You just heard that. I also didn't get a video of me falling on the driveway, uh, which is good because I probably would have slung my phone off into the yard somewhere. But uh, here's also a recreation of that. I looked exactly like this. I, I clawed my way back up got back on the tractor, threw out the rest of the salt from on the tractor, and then uh, headed back up and put everything away. But uh, yeah, not a good day. School bus said they won't come back out until we've got salt or sand out there on the road. So I had to call the uh, county and see if I can get them out here. Uh, it's not looking too good so far, so we might have another snow day tomorrow. Let's see. All right, so Snowplow is gonna come up the road here. Last time he made it right here to the end of our driveway, you can see and he stalled out and he slid all the way back down the hill. And he was spitting salt out the back as he went, so I think he's trying to wait for that to kick in and get enough traction to try it again. It is really slick out here. I fell right here. You can see where I dumped my salt. I'm gonna carefully, carefully go back up the way I came and hope that I can do this without falling flat on my rear. And I will be back out here to uh, plow the driveway at six o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm.